morning. My name is Anita, and this is Angelica, and we've had Angelica for a month. Yes, we have. Oh, good. Thank you. Good kisses. Here. Got a treater for that. <laughs> when we start with the puppies, we have to take them out every half hour, and now she's going um, every hour, and she's doing well with that. Um, no, no accidents for at least five days now that I can think of. She is um, sleeping longer, so things are getting better. Yay. <laughs> and she hasn't really whined since we got her. Uh, she's been very good in her crate to sleep and um, to be in there when she needs to be. She, she does do her stir in the middle of the night, like readjustment, and then flaps um, in the crate. And when we hear the flap, then we know, okay, she's just repositioning herself. And then about... Uh, Four or five o'clock, she'll get up again, and my husband takes her out. He's such a good guy. <laughs> and she'll uh, do, get busy and do her business. We used to get up around six o'clock, and now she's sleeping until maybe 10 off seven, which is great. I would feed her at 6.45. You know, we get up and we play. We don't eat right away. We play first, and then I feed her, and then we go out and we do our business. And then we come back inside and we play a little bit more and then she's ready for a nap. It's great. <laughs> um, when I'm not able to be here with her because I, I do food deliveries for um, three and a half hours a day. So my, my son is home and he takes care of her. Before she takes her nap, we do playtime and then I do training with her. And then when my husband comes home, he uh, takes her out. And he does training with her as well. Um, we're trying to stay on top of, of keeping her trained and uh, learning her new, new commands that she has to learn. We're doing the basics. We're doing sit and down, and she's learning to stand. We're working on that. That's our new command. She loads up in her crate with no problem. She's got that. She's like, oh, you want me to go inside because I'm going to get a treat? Okay, I'm going inside. I want a treat. <laughs> And then to follow us, loose leash walking, she does that. No, <laughs> don't, don't you dare do that. We're working on that. And wait, when she has to wait for her, her dinner time, she has to sit and wait until we tell her she can take her food, and she does great with that. She really does like to go for a walk. When my husband comes home, it's like, okay, let's go for a walk. I want to go for a walk now. I can leave the, I can leave the yard. So we go visit our friend, Miss Sandy, <laughs> and her lovely beau, <laughs> and play in Miss Sandy's yard for a little while. She has her favorite toys, so we play with her favorite toys. She has a stuffingless shark squeaky toy that she likes to play. That's her most favorite toy. And of course, those bully sticks, you can't get enough. Yes, it keeps them occupied when you need to get things done. The at exceptional sidekicks, they have very good training and they explain everything and you better understand. So I, I like it, the way that exceptional sidekicks trains their their puppies. So I'm finding with Angelica um, going through the, the book and going to the training classes <clears throat> hand in hand is helping us to be better puppy raisers. When you can see the success, when your dog follows the command that, that you're teaching it, um, there's joy in that. She got it! Yay! <laughs> I had no expectations, so it's, it's been good. It, it's been trying with the not sleeping and the accidents in the house, but she really hadn't had many accidents. After the first week, it does get better, believe it or not. Um, and uh, she's just turning into her own little personality, her own little dog here. I would say do it if you have an opportunity uh, to raise an exceptional sidekick puppy for someone else. Um, that's the best gift you can give. I think their purpose is, is great. When you're having a bad day to have the dog come and just lick your face or lick your hand or want to be with you and happy to see you. I think it's really great. But I, I'm, I'm glad that I'm, Frank and I are able to help out in any way that we can. It's going to be hard. In the end, it's going to be hard to give her up, but we know that it's for a better cause. You know, it's not about us. It's about helping others.